In this video, I will show you how to put a fraction into lowest terms. To put a fraction into lower terms, divide the same number into the numerator and denominator. In the first example, I start with 10 over 14. I'm going to divide 2 into the numerator and denominator, and I get an answer of 5 sevenths. Therefore, an equivalent form of 10 over 14 is equal to 5 over 7. In the second example, I have 15 over 20. I notice that 5 is a common divisor of 15 and 20. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So therefore, 15 twentieths is equal to 3 fourths. In the next example, I start with 48 over 60. I notice that it, that is an even number over an even number, so I divide top and bottom by 2, and I get 24 over 30. However, this fraction is not in lowest terms. To put a fraction into lowest terms, continue the process until there is no longer a common divisor of the numerator and denominator. Both of these numbers are even, so I can divide top and bottom by 2. That will give 12 over 15. These two numbers have a common divisor of 3, so my final answer is 4 fifths. Now this process can be done slightly differently by dividing by different numbers. In this particular case, I start with 48 over 60. I notice that 6 goes into top and bottom. That will give 8 over 10, and then divide top and bottom by 2, and we get an answer again of 4 fifths. Now I will show you how to put a fraction into higher terms. To put a fraction into higher terms, multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. In my first example, I start with 5 sevenths, and I multiply the top and bottom by 2, and I get 10 fourteenths. The reason this is legal is because 2 over 2 is 1, and multiplying by 1 does not change the value of a number. In my second example, I start with 5 sevenths, but now I'm multiplying by 6 over 6. 6 over 6 is still a form of 1, and I get 30 over 42. Notice that I am not multiplying by 6, because that would make the fraction bigger. I'm multiplying by 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. And the final example is 8 seventeenths. To put this into higher terms, I'm multiplying by 3 over 3 this time, and we get 24 over 51. There is no such thing as highest terms, because I can keep making the numbers bigger and bigger. 